Previously on The Real Housewives of Christianity. Good morning. I have a few announcements before we continue with our worship. Right after service today, we will have a newcomer's brunch in the cafeteria. Great. We are also going to have next week our global missions kick off with a potluck. And Lord, thank you for giving me the compassion to serve others, especially the homeless every morning, even though I have to wake up at 4.30 a.m. And thank you, Lord, for everything. Um, Gabby, um, I wasn't done giving thanks for all that I do for the Lord. And Lord, thank you for the old people. They know not what they do, but I know that I am a healthy individual and that I'll never be old. I would love to do a duet with your mother. Oh my God, she's flying in next week. Hey, so hi, to hi. hi. Yeah, I went ahead and put your ultrasound in the bulletin. <gasps> no one knows I'm pregnant. You're welcome. For Colton's dedication, we chose Psalm 37.3. We have chosen the entirety of the book of James for our son Luke. James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm on this Daniel fast. Means mm -hmm. I can't have any coffee, sugar, or meat. Oh, wow. Mary Margaret was on that same diet. And guess what? She didn't even last a day. <laughs> she ate six donuts off the newcomer's table. I mean, six? Can you even believe it? I mean, can you even imagine? Oh, I'm so hungry. This is my giving. Could you pass it to the usher? You know, my husband, he instituted a giving online feature. I like to be a little more mindful with my giving to encourage others to do so. Wait, who are you all? Uh, I'm Mary. No, I'm the Virgin Mary. No, I was gonna be Mary. I was Mary last year? No, no I, was I was Mary last year. Okay, okay. No, 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 I didn't become a worship leader. God made me one. I memorized the whole Bible. And I'll do it again. Faith, check. Humility, check. Good deeds, check, check. Just because I share all the juicy prayer requests doesn't mean I'm a gossip. This backup pastor's wife doesn't want to be benched anymore. Being new in town is easy when your husband is the lead pastor. 